All right, stat of the day brought to you by Panini America, the official trading cards of this program. It'll be Ohio State and Iowa. Uh, that'll be Caitlin Clark. That'll be a rematch. And uh, Iowa faces Minnesota at 9 Eastern. Uh, Ohio State faces Michigan at 6.30 Eastern. This will be on Peacock. That'll be Wednesday night basketball. And then you have Iowa and uh, Ohio State, the rematch, I believe, this weekend uh, with Caitlin Clark and Ohio State. All right, uh, we'll get to your phone calls coming up, as we always do every Monday. Uh, 877-3DP-SHOW. Email address dp at danpatrick.com. Twitter handle at DP Show. Good morning if you're watching on Peacock. Also check in at the uh, NFL Combine. And Major League Baseball has a uniform issue. We'll have that for you coming up. I was watching the tribute to Jim Behan yesterday. I had all these luminaries. Everybody's saying nice things. It's emotional. And uh, all of a sudden, they play our video because we were asked by Syracuse, hey, could you guys do something, say some nice things about Coach Beheim? And then we went around the room, Fritzy and Seton, Marvin, Paulie, and then myself, and then we kind of roasted Jim Beheim and then made fun of Jim after every game, win or lose, when he's at the press conference. <laughs> so they're showing this, and I'm cringing. I'm going... I thought this was just like a private thing for Jim, not in front of 50,000 or how many people were there. So uh, the uh, former Syracuse head coach, Jim Beheim, joining us on the program. Let me apologize on behalf of everyone here for absolutely nothing. You, that's that's the, our relationship, and uh, I'm glad that we, we closed you out that way. I would have expected nothing uh, else. Great. And, you know, it was 28 tributes, 26 very nice, well done. <laughs> and you and Gino, my good friend, Oriyama, were brutal. And it just, you know, it was par for the course. You know, I mean, I'm expect that. And now even my wife doesn't like you. And <laughs> she, was, she was like your only fan in Syracuse. Wow. So now, I mean... Wow. Your ratings just went probably forty <laughs> percent down losing her. So that's it. I mean, it's okay. We, we tried to some... say something nice. We did. We did. It's hard, I know, it's hard. It's really hard. Yeah, but this is the new Jim Beheim. You watch me on TV, I'm oh, smiling, I'm happy. Yeah, you know, look at you. Look at sickening. you. It's sickening. <laughs> And by the way, when you came on, I heard, who's the best player in all of sports to watch play right now? And I'll, I'll say basketball. It okay. makes it easier for you. Okay. Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Yeah. Nobody else. Yeah. Steph Curry's close still, but she's moved past. And you know why I like her the most? Her passing skills yep. are unreal. She makes passes that are just subtle that you have to know the game, which I mean, nobody in your room there. I, no. mean, I know Absolutely. that would be hard. Yes. You have to understand the game. She makes subtle passes that really it's incredible. I, I watch every game she's on. I mean, literally, but it's, we don't have, have to Kate, watch her. We don't have Caitlin Clark without Steph Curry. Well, yeah, I mean, he, he's an influence on everybody. It's like Pearl Washington was the first influence on a generation of guards. Mm -hmm. And now it's, you know, Steph Curry. He's unique. <clears throat> I mean, it's not enough to say he's the best shooter of all time, which he is. But he's just a unique player to watch play. I mean, he's my favorite player to watch since probably Michael Jordan, I guess, and Magic. Um, you know, some guys you just turn on the TV to watch. I mean, I have to stay up and, you know, I'm old now and I stay up to midnight to watch Steph Curry play because, uh, you know, you have to, you have to watch the guy play basketball, but she's just as fun to watch and, uh, amazing. I, I just think she's an amazing player. And she probably needs to stay in college because she'll probably make $4 million next year with the wonderful new system we have of NIL. <laughs> so uh, Wait, that sounded you know, sarcastic why? with the wonderful new system. A little bit. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit. It's okay. a great idea. NIL was a great idea. It's just, it's just turned into we're going to buy these players, and that's the, what it is. It's, everybody knows it. 
It's pretty simple. Okay. Could you give the green light to someone like Caitlin Clark? One of your players. 100%. 100%. I gave the game green light to guys that weren't as good as her. Come on. But, I mean, <laughs> shooting that deep. I remember Steve Kerr, would he, would he would hold his head in his hands when Steph would take those long shots and then he would make them, and then he realized that he makes yeah. those. That's just who he is. It's just if you, you can, like I tell players, hey, you can take any shot that you can make. I don't care where it is. Just as long as you can make it, you know, fire it, let it go. And, you know, some people can just do things other people can't do. Part of coaching is adjustments. You know, you know, you adjust to those guys and it's not hard to adjust to Steph Curry. Trust me. You know, you just, okay. Pearl Washington was like that. He did some crazy things, but he, you know, he, he did them and he entertained people. You know, we went from 15,000 people a game when Pearl Washington came to Syracuse. It was early. It was in the first, second year of the of the Carrier Dome, now the JMA Dome. But we went to 25,000 people in one year. <laughs> and it was because of well, people wanted to watch this guy play. Yeah. And, you know, it was some people are like that. There's, there's great players, and then there's great players that everybody want to watch play. You know, that's there's a there is a difference. There's a difference. No question about it. All right, we're talking to uh, the former Syracuse head coach Jim Beheim. A couple of things: court storming. What would be your solution on how to police or prevent? Well, you put a hundred, two hundred police officers there. You could do it, but you know, I mean, I'm very sympathetic. I hope Kyle. I love Kyle Filipowski. I hope he's all right. I really do. But in all the years of all the court stormings I've seen, and, you know, I'm kind of old, so it's probably a couple hundred, right? I've never seen anybody get hurt. I mean, that's the first thing everybody's talked about since this happened. Mm -hmm. Player safety, players this. And I've never seen anybody get hurt. Now, it doesn't mean they couldn't get hurt, but it's, you know, it's it, it's you could stop it. I mean, you'd have to just ring the whole building with police officers with sticks and stuff. Yeah. And you know, you could stop it. Yeah, I mean, you can. But I've never seen anybody get hurt. This the one that was a fast court. Those people, you know, you know, those people that were storming the court there. You know, at Wake, they were fast. I mean, they must have had all the athletes running out there. <laughs> but, but Usually coach, it's a kind of a slower one. <laughs> Wake was favored by two. You can't storm the court when you're favored. Well, when you haven't beaten Duke in 25 years, <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> you do, there is an occasion that you can storm the court. And it was a huge win for Wake. Is is you know Joe Lenardi, as we all know, picked three ACC teams to go to the tournament um, just a month ago, and couldn't have been more wrong. We're going to have six in there, maybe more, <laughs> but at least that, because you can't go, you know, by numbers. The net is the worst thing ever foisted upon us by the NCAA of a lot of bad things, because you can play ten bad teams, beat them by a lot. And your net's going to be good because you cap the point spread, but you can't cap the efficiency of your offense and defense. And when you're playing bad teams and you win by 40, you're going to be very efficient on both ends. So your net's going to be great. So you just need to discount the net a little bit and try to find the best teams. And I'm not saying they're ACC teams. We'll have some of them, but, you have to look for the best teams, not teams that have the best net, because you can get a net by playing nobody and winning big. And we need to understand. I think the NCAA committee understands that. I think that's been talked about a lot. And we have to get back to finding the best teams. And the the end result, when you get to the end of Selection Sunday, you want to have the best teams in the tournament and you have to watch teams play and see their improvement more so now than ever. I, I believe in the whole season is important, but with the transfer portal, so many new teams 
that you have to watch teams at the middle and end of the year to see how they've developed from beginning to end. And when you have so many transfers, you're not going to be as good in the beginning. Yeah. And you might be really good at the end. So even though you take the whole season into consideration, you have to put some little emphasis on the last 15 or 20 games. But speaking of the tournament, the new president of the NCAA, I guess, is floating the idea of expanding the tournament to 96 schools. (laughs) Listen, I've talked about this for 40 years. It doesn't hurt a thing to expand the tournament. If anything, in the first rounds, you get the bad teams out. You'll end up with a better 68 or 64 if you do it that way. You get more fan bases involved. You get more players in the tournament. And you don't hurt the tournament at all. And you can do it. I don't know if you get to 96. But we have a play-in days right now. Wow. Just have three play-ins. At, three, at the four sites where the tournament's going to be. So if you win your play-in, you're right there at your site. Now you don't have to I go. I can't believe eight. you're agreeing with the NCAA. What happened to you? It's, oh, it's hard. It's hard, what trust happened? me. And it's only once out of, <laughs> hey, everybody's right once a day. Every <laughs> clock's right twice a day, a broken clock, right? Yep. But, no, they. this is – we should expand. I know all these purists say, oh, we don't – you know, well – what if we were still where we started at 12? John Wooden was a great coach. We were at 16. He didn't want to expand. Best coach ever in history, right? No, oh, we don't need to expand. Well, then we went to 32, 48, 60. Is the tournament is good now or better? It's better. So you add a few teams. So what? It's over. You can get it over in a couple of days. Be down to 64 teams, go forward. Yeah. It's no big deal. It's the same in football. You, you, you know, they should have expanded the football right away. It should have been wherever, wherever it is, 12, 16. Yeah. Uh, before I let you go, did you uh, ever cross paths with Pete Maravich? I know his name's come up now because of Caitlin Clark. And Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I saw him play in person once in – he was in the NIT in New York. And in those days, you know, you hadn't seen him. You know, he was at LSU. You really hadn't seen him. The first play, he caught the ball at a rebound, took one dribble and threw a behind-the-back length of the court pass to a guy who caught it and laid it in. And I'm, I go like, who? Well, that was good. <laughs> the guy was Caitlin Clark, you know, what was it, 40 years ago. 50. Yeah. Fabulous, unbelievable offensive machine. He could do things with a basketball that really no, even Steph Curry can't do. Just dribble things, passing things. I mean, the guy was in a good conference and was defended with box and ones all the time and averaged 40 points a game. No, you know, who can do that? How many people can do that? Not many. And not the three-point shot either. If you factor that in, he's no. he probably would have ended his career, you know, 5,500 50 points. Yeah. yeah, he would have had 50, average 50 a game every time. But thanks for the nice tribute to me. I, it's good to bring you down, bring people down. You know, when, yeah. you lift, when other people are <laughs> lifting you up, it's good that, you know, somebody's there like you and Gino, just to, you know, I'm a member of the your group now. you got to be nice mm, to me. No, I'm not no, letting no. you in yet. No, 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 yet. no, right. no. And by the way, you know what? We, yes. we made fun of Coach K, so if we can make fun of Coach K, we, we can make fun of you. <laughs> well, he, absolutely. He's the best. I mean, yeah, I'm not even in the same <laughs> kid. I'm not in the same, same room. One, one time a guy in Syracuse tried to compare, compare me to Coach Wooden. And I said, well, yeah, I mean, we're similar. He's on the penthouse, and I'm in the basement. Okay. That's about the, that's about how close we are. You know, I think I've worked my way up to about the fifth floor. No, nah, you're in the but, kitchen. Uh, you're in the kitchen, maybe. Kitchen. Easy. Yeah. Well, that's Easy. That's a good place to be. Yes. Yeah. There's food there. Everything right? happens yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah, you're not going to get to All the penthouse. All I know is you've come a long way since <laughs> I met you with Kevin Costner, and you were just a guy in the TV. You were, what, you were just 
doing the news or sports or whatever. I was at CNN. So, and, I was at CNN. Yeah. In Atlanta. Yeah. And, uh, and no, and no, we were in the room. Nobody even knew who you were. They did not. Girl. They did not. That was it. Yeah, there was there was a girl who was interested in me, and Costner. <laughs> I know that. And Costner <laughs> went over and and he that said he started talking to her, and then he sees me and he goes, "I get out of here. I'm going to take one for you." <laughs> I go, "All right." So Kevin Costner took one for me as he. Uh, chatted up this woman but um all right my best to uh, well, your wife is always 75 years old she, all right time, so that's, okay. Know, that's okay that's okay right. that's okay that's right. uh <laughs> stay in touch and uh congratulations on your day a special yeah, when you day. need to get a boost in your ratings just call me i'll be happy to come on all no right problem. thank you let's all say goodbye to uh <laughs> coach Bayheim going <laughs> 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 bye, bye. <laughs> coach k or Coach Behan. Coach Behan. Yeah, we really showed him. <laughs> you know, take that. Yeah.